God uses storms to develop your faith. Okay, it's like God shakes us up. All right, if you have medicine in your cabinet and maybe you've hadn't used that medicine in a long time, what do you do before you use medicine? Oftentimes, the directions would tell you to shake the medicine up before you use it, because when you shake the medicine up, the ingredients in the medicine gets to rise to the top because over time things sink to the bottom same thing with your gift when you are stagnant and you're not growing the gifts in you just sink to the bottom but God uses storms to shake us up so we can be used because your ministry oftentimes in your anointing it comes from your pain it comes from storms that you have been through so understand that God uses storms for our development okay he taught them on the shore but he tested their faith at the sea okay so what you don't get at the shore God will test you at the sea so I want to encourage you this morning my brothers and sisters to simply hold on sometimes you don't have answers and God won't provide the answers sometimes you have to, in spite of what you're going through, hold on to God's sovereignty. God is absolutely in control. Let me pray for you. Dear gracious and heavenly Father, right now I pray for the listener. I simply pray that you would empower their faith to believe in you in spite of whatever they're going through. I pray, Father, that you would remind them in your word that declares that you will never leave them nor forsake them. I pray, Father God, that you would order their steps, give them wisdom, give them knowledge, give them the guidance that they need to make the right decisions today. I pray for the Holy Spirit to lead and guide them into all truth. And when the enemy comes in like a flood, I pray that you would lift up a standard of peace in their minds, souls, and spirit. Father, empower them to just simply hold on and trust that you have the power to calm the storm at any moment. Father, I pray that you would reveal your purpose and your plans for the storm because there is a purpose for the storm. So, Father, use this moment in their life to shape and mold them into the person that you've called them to be. Forgive us for our sins. And cleanse us of any unrighteousness. Father, create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit that in all things we can keep holding on in strength, in our minds, in our character, in every area of our life. May we hold on to your righteousness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you would like a digital prayer book, go to warfareprayers.org and subscribe to the digital prayer book of the month. God bless you.